right around the early 20th century, the physicists thought they understood everything. Every experiment could be explained by classical physics, Newtonian physics, and they were basically telling people, you know, don't even go into physics, we got this covered. Um, nothing new to be learned here, you'll only be able to refine your measurements. But as the techniques advanced, they started doing experiments and getting results that didn't quite, um, couldn't be explained by the classical uh, mechanics. All the physics rules that they already knew, all those equations, they couldn't explain certain things. And so there are three things that they, they couldn't explain. Black body radiation, the photoelectric effect, and the emission spectrum. I'm sure there were others, we're just going to focus on these three because they relate to uh, atomic structure. So in black body radiation, um, this is when a, an object glows when the temperature increases. So if you suppose you're a blacksmith and you're heating up some iron, it's going to glow red. That sort of thing is actually not explained well by, um, by classical physics. And so there was this whole other branch of physics that had to be developed, quantum mechanics, so quantum mechanics, um, to explain these sorts of things. And so Planck was one, Max Planck was, uh, was one of the scientists that was working on black body radiation. And he came up with this idea that energy comes in packets, and he called them quanta, or that energy is quantized, which means it's not continuous. Um, it appears to be continuous. Energy changes look continuous to us on a macroscopic scale because the energy changes are so small, the quantum is so small, uh, that you can't, you can't see it with, with the naked eye. So if you think about you know, a, a ramp, so a ramp would be continuous, that looks continuous, there's infinitely small steps that you can take, you know, that's 100% continuous versus something like steps where you can be here or here, but you really can't step in between, right? There's this little jump and this is kind of the energy being quantized. It comes in little packets. Um, yeah, so, or think about like a ladder, you know, you can be here or here, but you can't be in between. Um, and so later on, we'll see how he, he took this idea of quantized energy and, and explained kind of what we know about the structure of an atom, right? Here's the nucleus, and an electron could be here or here or here, but it can't be in between. It can only be in those rungs of, uh, kind of like the rungs of the ladder. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, so again, three things that can't be explained by classical physics, black body radiation, uh, it's just saying that things glow and they heat up, not explained by classical physics. Quantum mechanics can explain this. We're not going to go into the math on this one. Um, photoelectric effect. This was Einstein. So Einstein used the, the um, assumption about the quant uh, quantization of, of energy to explain the photoelectric effect. And this is really when you have like a metal and you shine some light on it. Uh, you should kick some electrons off, right? So it's the emission of electrons from a metal surface that's induced by light. And classical mechanics says that if you shine the light on there, eventually it'll get enough energy to remove an electron, but that's actually not what happens. Um, energy needs a certain, or the, you need a certain amount of energy, you need a certain frequency in order to remove that electron. And that frequency here, this is our frequency. H is a constant, it's Planck's constant. And so that energy, he's basically, Einstein's relating energy to frequency here. Um, and so here's Planck's constant, and I'll always give you the constant so you don't have to memorize those. You probably will because we'll use that one so much. But energy is related to frequency, so energy equals h nu. h is a constant. Nu, that's just your frequency again. Um, so if you know energy, you know frequency. If you know frequency, you know energy. And we already know that if you know frequency, that's just c over lambda. So you can kind of put all of that together if you want to. Um, so energy and frequency are related. Uh, frequency and uh, wavelength are related. So if I were to just substitute this into this equation here, I have energy is equal to h times c over lambda, right? So energy equals hc over lambda. So there, it relates everything together. So we're going to do a couple problems using these equations. 